fora. This week we're off exploring shipwrecks. Right, yeah, I'll drop the mooring and we'll be off. Right, yeah, man. Okay, so we are heading off to uh, Wilson Island. We just dropped the mooring and uh, it's about 12 miles away from here. I'll just show you where it is. That turquoise and that reef is just gorgeous. Anyway, Wilson Island is about 12 nautical miles away and that is it over there <laughs> it's a tiny little island and we're very excited to go over there check out the snorkeling so with both lures out it was time for lunch we're just wandering through the reefs i love it out here isn't it gorgeous Water breaking over here, had a reef and water breaking over here, and then you've got the island coming up, and you've got clear blue water out behind us. Magic! Yeah, so we're heading across from uh, Northwest Island to Wilson Island, and it's actually quite shallow once you get out around the reef. and. It doesn't actually show you really any depth, you know, short of a little spot in there that's five metres. But we got a bit of uh, local knowledge of Mark and Leslie. They tell us it's pretty good. It looks pretty flat. Um, it doesn't look like there's too many rocks in the middle of it, so we'll have a crack at it. be nice and head the boat up into the wind for him but you know he needs to get stronger <laughs> pump it baby pump it no, i do need to get stronger <laughs> anyway i'll have a rest from that <laughs> i got all day <laughs> With the sails adjusted, we chilled out and enjoyed the day for a bit. Until we had a fish on, that is. Then it was a flurry of action with me adjusting sails to slow Sarian down and my honey working the rod to keep the fish on the line. a nice little mackerel for McDazzle's dinner. So while Darren cleaned up the fish, I got us underway again. Okay, so we're about a couple of miles away from our destination, but I need to bring us up, so I'm just going to drop the main and uh, leave Darren filleting the remainder of the fish. He's very happy, very happy. Located in the Tropic of Capricorn, Wilson Island is a very small coral cay which is a busy turtle and bird rookery. The large and well-protected surrounding reef provides excellent nursing grounds for the hundreds of turtles that return each year to lay their eggs, making this a very special place to visit and explore. That's pretty cool. So they're actually setting it up here uh, so that you can go glamping. You can come to Wilson Island and uh, do some glamorous camping, which is great. I mean, what a primo spot. Absolutely beautiful. You've got this beautiful coral cay right out in front of you. And you probably in the season you'll have ne uh, turtles nesting at night. Magic. We spotted a mix of leatherback and green turtles amongst the shallows. 
Leatherbacks feed almost exclusively on jellyfish, consuming around 8 pounds each day. And did you know that they can grow to outweigh a rhino? We were excited to spot this Palmaze bommy from the drone which sent us exploring the depths below. It was a sleepy afternoon for these white-tipped reef sharks who typically hunt in the evening. <laughs> well, I spotted one turtle track, so we've quickly chopped the tender in the water and we're going to see if um, we can see the, the last of a turtle laying her eggs. How exciting! There's only one track, it's just come out of the water and it's one track hopefully coming up. I can't see another track coming down so we might be in luck, we might be in luck. How exciting. <laughs> we might see a turtle my honey. Okay. We might see a turtle. Well we might. <laughs> anyway, we've got to be in it to win it. <laughs> well, she's gone, <laughs> and good on her too. She's must have snuck up in the middle of the night, laid her eggs, and taken off. <laughs> but we almost saw it. <laughs> There's so many mounds here; it's just crazy. <laughs> what a busy little turtle laying island this is. <laughs> Right beneath my feet there's a bunch of turtle eggs just growing. <laughs> How wonderful. It's amazing how far they actually she's come like and that must be uh, 100 metres probably right up here to, yeah. to where she's actually laid the eggs. Yeah. Like she's crawled up all over them humps and mounds and yeah. just to find this spot here. Yeah. You can see all right through that all that that brush land there that's have been in there in the past as well. And I've slowly slowly been coming this way. Another interesting fact that we were discussing last night was that turtles don't start laying their eggs until they're seven years of age and they don't return until they're to their home point until that time. Which is incredible really. To think with it how far and wide they roam. And then they come back to exactly where they were born seven years later to start breeding. Amazing. <laughs> We'd need GPS for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much or a good compass at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Look, babe. Yeah, no. Really soft shells. So these are turtle shells. And hopefully these little turtles got away into the water. That'd be amazing. But yeah, look how soft and pliable their shells are. <laughs> That's really neat. Oh, look, there's quite a few. Another one? <laughs> That's excellent. Go little turtles. <laughs> Go off into the ocean and have a wonderful life. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so we just dropped off the mooring about half an hour ago and uh, we are heading towards uh, Heron Island. There is a, a shipwreck here that was brought here to form a breakwater quite a few years ago 
and uh, you can actually walk out to it at low tide and explore it but uh, I think the tide is high so we're going to see if we can dive it which will be really cool hopefully. Yeah so it's uh, only about another three or so miles away ahead of us and uh, we should be there in about half an hour. Yeah so you know cruising is uh, absolutely predicted by seasons and weather and um, and also if you're traveling internationally visa times and uh, yeah, we just wish we had more time to spend in this group, the um, Capricorn group and the Bunker group just off of Gladstone and uh, Bundaberg on the east coast of Australia. Just amazing. What we have seen, we're just blown away. We just, yeah, but we can't stay. We have to keep traveling south. There's more destinations to see, but this is just such a beautiful area. We haven't seen such vibrant sea life and to be able to see the turtles and to swim with the rays, it's just magic, so magic. So yeah, if you're cruising, I just highly recommend spending some time in this area. And if you don't have access to a boat, you know, stay in, in uh, Bundaberg or Gladstone and get the boats out to these reefs and do the reef trips because it's just proving to be amazing. We are just absolutely over the moon with what we're seeing out here. It's just beautiful. How cool is this? We're at Heron Island. I'll show you. Heron Island was first set up as a turtle canning factory in the 1920s, which ended up being a short-lived enterprise. The surrounding reef makes an oasis for turtles and manta rays, making it an exciting stopover during nesting season. We had come to explore this beauty, the HMAS Protector a flat iron gunboat that was commissioned to protect Australian waters in the 1800s. She was rigged a topsail schooner with 15 guns mounted along her length, the largest weighing in at one tonne mounted on the bow. She sank after colliding with the barge and today forms part of the channel breakwater. No matter how many dives I do, I always find it somewhat eerie exploring wrecks. It amazes me that even after a hundred years, I can still figure out where the working parts of this old vessel were. The holds, the engine room. I can imagine people running around on and below deck soaking guns and filling pots with food. Outside, the creatures of nature had made this wreck their home. It's pretty cool to see how new life has been formed with the various creatures creating homes amongst this new habitat.
Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please drop a comment, give a thumbs up, and if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss a beat. And check our website for more inspiration and resources. A very big thank you to our patrons for making these videos possible. If you like what we do and would like to help support the making of these videos, we've provided links in the description of the video for you to jump on board with our salty shipmate crew. Much love from us both. See you next week.